Oh my, it's Fox Rental. They get Emmett Fox, and I just finished watching Sins of the Father Arrow. I'm catching up all the arrows that I haven't watched yet, and I know people probably, I heard multiple times throughout my reviews talking about Batman v Superman saying, I don't like Batman killing. I just don't. And the reason why I is, I, I want to bring this, because this actually does it pretty dang well, it feels like a freaking cop-out, kind of. For the hero, for them to try to figure out how to do it. Because in this episode, it continues where the last one I saw. If you check out my last review or check out the show. Where um, Tessa, I think her name was Tessa. Tessa Al Ghul basically has a serum that can fix the uh, Thea's bloodlust and also heal her. But she was not going to give it until, um, uh, Green, until um, Green Arrow slash Oliver kills Merlin. And... Throughout this thing, people are saying, just kill Merlin. He's an a-hole. He did all these bad things. And Oliver's like, no, she's my he's my sister's he's my sister's um father and stuff like that. And also saying, like, he's not he just doesn't he doesn't want to do that. They, everyone says, I know you're trying to throw over a new leaf, but you gotta do this to kill her. And like everyone also tells Tali, like, and Tali, yeah, is kind of being an a-hole not giving the cure. But yeah, and I'm just like, eh, that, that is bad. That is very bad. But yeah, like, this is mostly all Oliver's decision is if he's going to go back to killing for to kill Merlin. And he says, no, there's got to be a way. He wants to do it so that Merlin and Thea could have some kind of relationship to have it. Because if he could have his, I really even said, like, if he could have his father back, he would. Which, again, I am so hoping for when they reopen the portal for Earth 2 that Oliver either goes Earth 2 or um, Oliver's father from Earth Two comes over because I want to meet. I want to see them meet and also fight together. Since um, the, since Oliver's father in the other in um, or on Earth Two is Green Arrow, so I want to see that um, Arrow. But it's and it's it's really good, it's a really good thing. Like they even have a point where um, they basically test Merlin. Um, they even, like, they, after showing, like, a little bit of a test of the cure, showing it did heal Thea a little bit, like, the little bit that they gave her, um, Merlin actually says, all right, I'll come to me, because then they met, because then, um, he just, um, they made Tali say, well, not made, but they kind of, like, told her, if Malcolm Merlin gives you the ring, will you, like, stand down and whatnot, because they're, they're killing people in the streets and everything because of this war that's happening, a civil war, I did this before that, but, um, Tyler's like, okay, sure. Not Tyler. Tessa is like, okay, sure. So Malcolm Merlin comes, and it looks like he's about to hand over the ring. But And I'm thinking, yeah! But then, they get, but then he, of course, he doesn't do it. And I'm like, fudge! <laughs> and I'm thinking, well, crap. And he summons, he brings up his guys, and then they start off a war that starts killing everything. Everyone. And this then ends with a lot of people getting killed. Some people getting killed in the streets and stuff. But Oliver has a plan. What he does is he captures Talia and tells her to do, uh, what is it, um, trial by combat. The same thing that, um, Oliver did with Raj Al Ghul. And all, and Talia and, um, Merlin are about to fight, which I also love because he's, um, Merlin goes, <laughs> because of the formalities, we don't, um, we can skip the formalities and not have to take off our shirt just for us not being lewd or something like that. I'm thinking, ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. <laughs> because she's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people watching is like, no, take off the shirt. But it was pretty. Uh, I was. I, I like jokes like this. And again, compared to the Flash, this is a lot darker. This is a lot. The Arrow is a very much darker set tone for this episode for this show. But honestly, but still, I I prefer. But still, it is. A nicer tone dark it's dark yes but it's nicer and I prefer that over Batman v Superman and again throughout the entire episode um people have been telling Oliver kill uh, kill Merlin kill Merlin and he's saying no I can't I can't let that do that and, and he even says that he hates Merlin and that he doesn't want to do this and even Deagle saying use that hate to kill him you have to do it for your sister but Oliver's just like no I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it and in the end um what happens is he takes up the fight and says Talia, like, I, in the eyes of the League, I am Talia's husband, so I will fight for her. 
and he fights Merlin, kicks the crap out of Merlin, which one, yeah, he kicked the crap out of Raj al Ghul. He should be able to kick the crap out of Merlin. But, and right when Merlin, Merlin's like, all right, the only way you can win this is if you kill me. So kill me because, but you'll let your, you'll, your sister will lose her father, whatever, and, and Oliver go, basically goes, I forgot what he says, but I think he just says, like, no, she won't. And I'm just thinking, cut off his hand. And what does he do? <laughs> cuts off the freaking, cuts off Merlin's hand. Merlin's like, ah! <laughs> um, takes, he takes the ring off and goes, here, Talia, this is yours. <laughs> Which also, um, Talia is being told, like, why aren't you being, why aren't you giving, um, the cure if you truly did care about Oliver and his family? Because Talia's still saying that, she, um, that they're married, which I guess in a league sense, I guess they are married, I guess still. Um, and with that whole thing with them being married, with them being married, I'm trying to think real quick, I'm sorry. Um, with them being married, like she always says, like, Thea is my, um, sister-in-law, of course I care for her. But they're like saying, well, we'll prove it. And all, even like, um, the, this black man, I forgot her name. I, I, the name slipped by faster than, um, their superhero names, but... Black Canary basically says, if you truly cared about, if you truly cared about her, um, or you truly cared about her, you'd give up the cure, and she also said, why are you doing this, this is, your, like, your father doing this, your father's still controlling you, even from the grave, but it ends with, um, her disbanding the League, which I like, sorry about that, but, um, she is, it ends with the, her disbanding the League, which one I'll say, no, because I liked, because I kind of liked, the league, and honestly, if Oliver would have taken over the league, he could have said, "Don't you?" Because of how skilled the league is, to where like they're super ninjas, basically. For how skilled the league is, he basically could have had. He basically has an army of Batman. Basically, if you want to put it, he has an army of Batman. And all, all he needs to do is give the order: do not kill. You do not have to kill. Use um non-lethal measures and he could give the league a new way of working i would say to do it because if how loyal if they are so loyal that like they follow almost everything they follow raj their raj al ghul their leader so thing they would follow that and i would say fudge yes you would have such a great army that you would have to be able to clean like honestly if they used the league of assassins with oliver i'm pre and felicity's technology and everything they could probably find damian dark and kill him under a week <laughs> if they wanted to kill him um under a week they could probably catch him but but yeah um but also what I like is when they're meeting Italia and Tessa says that she disbanded him and throws like the ring into the fire and it melts. Um, <laughs> before that, um, Merlin walks in and he has like a sling over his hand that he had cut off. And one, first thing I was thinking, well, one, there's no blood, but of course it's TV. But one thing I'm thinking is like, you know, if you hurry, you can probably get that back to, you can probably get to the hospital and, you know, get it reattached. Because I've even heard of, like, um, I think it was a teacher or someone who told me that um, they had their arm cut off because they were messing with glass as a kid. And the glass, I guess they broke like this and the glass fell and cut their arm off. And they got it back to the hospital and they reattached it. Or it someone that they knew or something. But they reattached it. I'm thinking, you can still get that hand back. You just run back and, you know, reattach. you get it reattached. But no. <laughs> and, I, and, like, Merlin just walks in there. And he does not look happy. <laughs> and like, they're all just, um, um, Black Canary and Arrow are there. And they all look at him. I'm just waiting for, I was just waiting for uh, Merlin just to look at him and go, <laughs> just, just swear at him like, you mother. <laughs> I was just waiting for something like that. I think it would have been hilarious. <laughs> uh, but also, like, Merlin says, like, the reason why he didn't give up the ring was because the League is a, is a force that could change the world, and he's not going to give up that power. And so, like, but he also said that, like, right before he said, well, I had a connection with my daughter, even when I didn't even know she was my daughter, and yada, yada, yada. And I'm thinking, yeah, but you're going to let her die. Uh, but, yeah, I'm just like, oh, Merlin, you're such a fucking a-hole. And that's the thing, like, he doesn't even trust his own skills to be able to get the ring back, because I'm pretty sure if Merlin 
tried. He could probably get the ring back, or he could just t tell Tessa, t or he could give the ring back to Tessa, and then after the Lotus is given to um, Thea, he could just ask her to a uh, trial by combat. But I'm assuming Merlin's more of a coward, and he doesn't actually have the skill to fight Tessa. <laughs> No, because he, well, yeah, he even fought Tessa in the thing, but still, yeah, he could do that if he wanted to. And there, he could get the ring back, he would still be the League of, ruler of the League of Assassins, but no, he had to screw it all up. Just screw it all up, but yeah. But I did like, again, like, and this is why I like this at least, because Oliver could have killed Merlin. He could have killed Merlin right then and there, and it would have been done. He could have killed Merlin, um beforehand i'm tearing this off um he could have killed merlin beforehand and yeah he would have been done he got the lotus and everything would have been fine but um Mer but uh all but oliver did it he cop not a cop out he cuts the dude's hand off which is a smarter way of going we're saying well none of you have to die you all get to live no one gets to die no one dies today and that's good that was a good thing i like that and also you have like the subplot with like um the calculator slash um Felicity's um father um coming back and saying he wants to be in her life, but it turns out he's trying to hack the systems just so he could get all the new pal um Palmer tech like technology and stuff like that. But Felicity finds this out and she's like, No, I don't want to be with him basically anymore. And basically gets him sent to jail. Leave it is I believe that's what happened. Because she says that um, the father left behind, like, I guess the thing to steal the data, which I believe it was, yeah. And then, um, what was it? But also, I like when, um, and then you also have, like, um, Felicity's mom, when, like, Felicity tells the, tells, uh, when Felicity tells her mom about the father, she's this, like, bubbly, like, kind of, quote-unquote, bimbo-ish type woman suddenly went straight serious. I'm like... Oh, Jeebus, you know she doesn't, you know this, if this woman ever freaking gets serious, it's not good. <laughs> but she suddenly gets like straight up serious and I'm just thinking, wow, yeah, she, this guy must have hurt her badly. And I, and that, and that's a pretty, that's a pretty good little drama. Um, and also you have like the flashback to, um, and like that one, the whole thing, like the whole thing is like saying like the father can't change who he is or something like that. Like like the mother keeps saying people don't change, and like they kind of say that also with Malcolm Merlin, like he he won't change. He'll always be selfish with his power. And like then like the the flashback story for this was um, Oliver telling the one like how he happened before, like he told his um the new girl the woman that he's kind of like that he kind of likes or the woman that's helping him on the island. In the past, like, he says that, that he killed the brother. She doesn't forgive him, even, like, betrays him, giving that key thing that, like, the ghost of Shadow gave him. And, or, like, the stone. And, like, the guy, the guy who, like, runs the island now takes the stone and is like, this is what I need. And he leaves. But then, like, he said, like, the sister's like, um, not sister, um, the woman who's helping Oliver, she's like, you don't, you don't, don't try to act like you know how I feel. And Oliver says about, you know, his father dying and everything, and like how many people, I mean, loved ones he's lost over the these years. It's like he lost four people, so that's like five people in total. And um, what was it? And uh, she's like, and then like I guess she kind of forgives him a little bit. But and I like also I like the saying that she has, which is um, which I think also she might betray him and like leave him on the island when it's said and done, because Oliver says he's gonna try to save them all. But um, she also says, um, there's a Russian saying, and she says it in Russian, but then in English, it's, it's, she says it's the same hammer that breaks glass can forge steel. And she says, you, when I first saw you, you were broken. You're shattered. But for you to save everyone, you're going to have to be forged to steel. And I like that you're slowly seeing him becoming the Oliver that we saw in the first season. But, um, yeah, I really do like that. And, again, like, even when, like, Green Arrow killed in the beginning, I didn't know much about Green Arrow, so I don't know if I could really get angry behind that. Because even, like, Green Arrow's backstory of him, like, backstory of him being his father dying and stuff on the boat or him being lost in the wild, I can understand him going, like, 
being where he would kill and slowly has to like work his way from not killing. I can understand that with Oliver, especially this backstory, Fudge, yes. But Batman still no. If his whole thing is so that no one else ever feels like the same thing he did with his parent losing his parents, he wouldn't kill. And again, like I like this because even with his backstory, even without dark and crap, the darkness that he's the bad stuff that he's been through. He and I don't want to say darkness is technically darkness, not evil, but whatever. Um, even through all the bad stuff that he's been through, he's now trying to stop killing. He's not trying to kill and. That's what I like. I like that. I don't like the idea of, like, oh, well, I'm older now, so I don't care, so I'm just going to kill everyone. I don't like that. And especially for Batman, whose backstory is basically he doesn't want anyone else to go through the same thing he went through. Uh, this is the one thing that annoys me about the killing, but it's good. This is a definitely a really, really good episode. I definitely say check it out. Um... I'm gonna keep watching the arrow so I can make uh, so because I really like this idea. I'm gonna make more vlogs about them, but this is a really good episode. And again, I, this is why I like the whole thing about heroes not killing. It's not. It's sort of the point to where the hero is put into a very tight position where he doesn't want to kill or he doesn't where he wants to kill, but he can't. He can't kill because that's something he can't do that because that's against his moral or something. That's against the thing. That keep, that make that keeps him from being, you know, the evil or the like difference from the bad guys or something like that. And that's the thing. It's the one thing that sep that not only separates them, but it's also the thing that kind of protect protects it. Yeah, everything else is bad because one, one, all of these supervillains. If if you really, if they really, if society itself, if the Society of the superhero universes really, really wanted these superheroes dead. They would kill them themselves when they're in the cell. They would, like, um, lethal injection or something. If they really wanted them dead, they would do it. But they don't. They don't kill them. So, in other words, don't blame the superhero for not killing. Don't say the superhero should kill. Blame the society that doesn't kill them if they really wanted them dead. But... Yeah, that's that's that little thing, but but either way, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to check my videos? I don't click the link description below. But you got all my videos. This is a very very good episode. Oh, I forgot to mention that um, Malcolm Merlin, after he loses it and he says that he wants he says he's not going to kill um, Oliver because he wants him to suffer. He then goes to Damien Dark and basically says and basically says. I know who, um, where you find where you can find Oliver's true the person Oliver truly loves and Oliver and Damien Dark's like oh I already tried that last um, holiday try come back later and he, and and Malcolm Merlin goes no it's his um it's his son William and Damien Dark's like Damien Dark looks in here dun, 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 and it ends but. Really good episode. I definitely say check it out. Malcolm Myrtle is a freaking a hole, and I'm like, no, Jack, why? <laughs> Captain Jack Harkness wouldn't do this. <laughs> why, Jack? At least not season. At least not like the newest. At least not Torchwood. Jack Harkness. I don't know. <laughs> I just feel sad for that. But oh well. Also, I wonder what's gonna happen with Malcolm Merlin's hand. Like, if he's gonna use magic to either heal it. Or if he's gonna have to go, uh, or if he's gonna have to like get him like a fake hand or robotic hand or something. It's the DC universe, so it wouldn't surprise me if a robotic hand. But either way, definitely very good episode. Definitely check it out. Thank you all for watching. Check more videos I have done. Please click the link description below. Please check out all my other videos, and we will see you later.